Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome to a rather wet and miserable Gainsborough. Today we're in the Studio Polygon Lite, the uh, the 10.2 metre Cummins spec, I believe, in this lovely Arriva Interurban livery. It's done by Sam Bob and is available on the Fellows Film website. Absolutely stunning, we've got this nice standard Arriva interior pretty much. Is that, is that Sapphire or Max? It's, you know, it's when they started going to leather seats with the nice cream poles inside. We've got that nice Hello from Arriva vinyl on the front, which is often found on the streetlights, uh, well, on Arriva buses in general. And uh, yeah, all together, really, really nice livery. Now, what are we doing today? We're going to be on the Route 104, and we're going to be going up towards, I believe it's called Morton. Where's the little uh, the little dude out there? So we're off to Corringham. Okay, we'll just get the engine on there. 104, type that in, and uh, to Corringham. There we go. Please work on the front of the bus. I've had a right flipping doodah with Hoff files recently for this bus. I can't find the right ones. I don't know where they've all gone. It's since I've started using Bus Company Simulator, it's diddled about with all my Hoff files. So we'll just have to go with uh, that. I mean, it's not kind of correct in the uh, in the slightest, in any sense of the word, but it'll have to do. It says it on the side, 104 Corringham Road. It's got 104 on the back. So we'll, we'll just treat it that that destination at the front absolutely knackered which you know every now and then these buses do turn up with broken destinations so it's not too unbelievable is it right let's have a look 9810 is our pin accept accept continue that's looking good let's have a bit of a uh, bit of bit of wipers on there oh they're not great are they they don't do a lot of the window do they let's uh, let's be honest right off we go full steam ahead let's have a bit of bit of lighting on and uh, we'll have the directional arrows because to be honest with you it's that long since I've done it I can't remember where I'm going absolutely can't remember at all right okay here we go let's get that door open oh oh hang on we'll just move that right the child wants a three pound ticket where's the there we go child day saver five seven seven pound for the child oh you want a day ticket as well what are all these ten notes unbelievable unbelievable right ready to go We've uh, we started messing about with the uh, messing about getting the destination set up that long that it's actually just time to leave straight away. So that's good, nice and efficient service. We don't have the passengers on the bus for any longer than necessary. Right here we go. So we're going straight forward here for the 104. I say straight forward for the 104. Literally every route out of Gainsborough goes this way, so it shouldn't come as a surprise. Let's see, can we get around this next chat before someone comes the other way? We can. Not a great place to stop, really, is it? Now we're getting a clear run, aren't we, today? It's quite a nice little run. Uh, I do like the uh, the fact that the main focus of this map is, of course, the Route 100 that we drove the last time. Um, we drove it with the Veiling, didn't we? That's, that's the main focus of this route, and, I mean, it's getting extended all the way to Scunthorpe soon, isn't it? Uh, I've seen some screenshots on Fellows Film there from Mr. Moose. It's looking absolutely fantastic. But it's also nice that he's added these kind of little little town routes, hasn't it? You know, it's it's just nice. It is nice. Let's have a look. So you want a you want a zero pound fare ticket? There we go. And the child is having another with another ten note. It's a good job I carry enough change, isn't it? Let me guess. Oh, you want to... Right, okay, you just want with the with the £2. That's fine. Right, off we go. Using the Cummins variant of the streetlight today, I can never tell which one's which. I learnt that first actually use uh, a lot of the Daimler versions. I thought they were all Cummins, but uh, yeah, today we're in a Cummins version. I don't really know a lot about the streetlights. Uh, luckily, whenever I need streetlight-related knowledge... I can turn to Josh from Studio Polygon, who uh, is is the king of streetlights. He knows absolutely everything there is to know about streetlights, and what he doesn't know isn't worth knowing. So, I'm, yeah, I just bumble along in blissful ignorance, and whenever I need to know something, I just call on uh, on his knowledge. Oh, I've not changed all the, all the AI, have I? We've got some Lincolnshire Road car there. I have changed this one, I know that much. Oh, nobody getting off, so there's no point stopping. And then we go round the town. I don't know how we're so late. There we go, round the town. Quite a wide corner. It's difficult to see in the mirror when it's raining. 
And of course the wipers, if you look, half of it is not wiped. So you're just looking at you're just looking at raindrops. It's not particularly easy, it has to be said. Alright, here we go, round the uh, round the bend in town. Alright, is this chap getting on? I don't think he is. He's not, he's waiting for another one. Keep going. Oh, up the curb. Flipping it, Joe, for goodness sake. Always try not to bump it up the curb. It can be quite difficult with the street light. It's quite a short bus, isn't it? I'm not very good. I'm much better with the with the 12 metre buses. The little ones just have such a... Oh, hang on. What's happening there? Oh, it's, it's a chap crashing into me. Well, I suppose... I suppose I did pull out, didn't I? This is Omsi traffic. You've got to always expect someone to crash into you. Right, we're off down here now. Flipping out, where are we going? Oh, there's a weather spoons on the right. On the left, even. I do know my left from my right, I promise. Where on earth are we going? I don't remember it coming down here. I mean, obviously it does, because Spittle Terrace, that, that is the correct route. Is this a bit where it goes under the bridge? Ah, it is. I, I, yeah, I do know this bit. Not really any need to rush, is there? There we go. Let's, uh, let's just pause it for a second to get a nice nice screenshot. You know I love a screenshot, don't you? Uh, right, hang on. There we go. Something where the streetlight looks quite grand. Can streetlights look grand? I don't know. But, uh, but this one's gonna. There we go, with a nice lamp post behind us. Splendid. Anyone getting off? No, nobody getting on. Quite an easy, quiet route, this, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of those little town routes that you kind of imagine would be heavily subsidised by the local council. But to be fair, Gainsborough doesn't seem to have an awful lot of bus routes, does it, really? Um, I don't know if maybe there's just a lot of routes that aren't included, but it seems like one of these towns, very much like where I live, Congleton, where, uh, where there's not really a lot of bus services. You know, it's quite difficult to make money four bus companies because there's just not a lot of people that use them. Right, here we go. There we go. Right, stop. Let them off. Who's getting off, actually? Oh, it was one of the many children on this bus. Right, foot down. We're actually keeping to time very well, aren't we, really? Plod along into the depot. Oh, and someone else getting off, so we'd better actually stop, haven't we? There we go. It looked like uh, it said. It'd be nice if the texture's lined up. I think that's more a thing with the object, isn't it? But uh, ah, the Sam Martin. Now we're going to say it looks like a Robinson's. It's it's not a Robinson's. It's a it's a I don't know what that is, but it's a... Oh, it's the Sand Martin, isn't it? It's off West Country, yeah. What's what's that? The, oh, the Sand Martin, but backwards. I've got you. It's, it's a flipped object. No worries. Right, Joe's up to speed now. I thought I recognised it. Oh, we've got some red lights up ahead. Street lights are very quiet bus, isn't it, really? I don't remember them always been this quiet when I've been on one, uh, you know, like travelling about. Sometimes they're a little bit louder. I guess that depends what engine variant you're on, I suppose. And, of course, how knackered it is. Sometimes uh, they're a little bit more knackered in real life. This is, of course, a pristine conditioned street light that we're driving today. There we go. And what I like about this street light from Studio Polygon is the door sounds are different every single time. They've got an array of sounds that randomly spawn when you, you know, when you spawn the bus. It randomly decides what the sounds are going to sound like. So like this one, the, sound, the door sounds sound pretty flimsy, pretty crappy. Sometimes they go with the right bang. And uh, I just like that variation 
you know that even though it's the same bus and you're driving it every time you're not getting the same it's there's little things that are ever so slightly different and i do like that because of course if you if you you know if you partic pay particularly close attention to buses in real life every single little one has its own little quirks doesn't it you know it might have had replacement parts it might have had uh, just faults with it so it's quite nice Ooh, hang on slamming on Right, away we go. Don't run that child over. I'm quite good at not running people over on OMSI. It's Bus Simulator 21 that I have a problem with. With uh, with running people over. Oh, looking brilliant. That child is, of course, not waiting for the bus. That's good. So we're going, where are we going? Are we going all the way around this roundabout? It would appear so. It's actually not too much of a complicated route, is it, this? Oh, I am really looking forward to Mr. Moose's next uh, section of map. It'd be great being able to drive all the way from Lincoln to Scunthorpe, wouldn't it? That'd be absolutely fantastic. Quite a lengthy video, we might have to do that on stream, to be honest with you, but, uh, but yeah, it'd be absolutely brilliant. Right, here we go. Better stop here, haven't we? Miller Road. I think this is... Is this the last stop on the service? It would appear so. Everybody seems to be getting off. Thank you, child. Right, where are we going into the depot? It's quite quiet around here, isn't it? It's like a little... Little retail park, but not like big brand name shops. You know, like you get a lot of like your washing machine service in place on the right. You get uh, like Naylor Myers, all kind of building supplies. It, it kind of strikes me more as that sort of retail park. Yeah, auto centres, car garages, bus depots. It's not like where you'd find PC World, Marks and Spencers, Argos. You know, it's it's not one of them. Oh, hang on, we terminate here. Do we have to stop for the points? Yes, we do. Right, okie dokie. And, uh, and we'll just go park up in the bus station. Well, there we go. That is a rather short and sweet route to, uh, 104. Where do we go now? We go down here, don't we? And back round the other way. I think I did it wrong last time. Yeah, there we go. That is where this bus terminates today. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Like I say, it's a nice short and sweet one today. We'll just park up here. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please do show your appreciation. Click that like button. Do us a favour, will you? And uh, and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you never miss out on any future episodes of OMSI 2. Other than that, as I say, thank you so much for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.